Before we get started, anyone interested in ordering Mr. Lindell's four CD set, go to metaphysicalarttheater.com. For those in the U.S., you can order physical copies or the digital downloads. For those outside the U.S., you can order the digital downloads by going to metaphysicalarttheater.com. How you doing, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing outstanding. So, you know, listen, uh, we've been this, uh, what we're doing right now has been about two or three years in the making, us being able to do a face-to-face live like we're doing right now. So I'm really excited. And I know that the audience is going to be excited. You know, and a lot of this took place when I was at your home visiting and we were getting your computer set up and we were getting everything loaded on your computer. So I'm pleased to see that, you know, our efforts paid off and now you're a pro and you're jumping out. You're doing Zoom by yourself now. You're getting on Zoom and you're doing the Zoom call. So I'm excited. So today's topic I want to talk about, it's not going to be a long talk, but in this talk today, I want to talk about the switch, how you went from not being on your own side to getting on your own side. How did that switch take place? Well, first of all, what you're looking for is looking for you. So if, if you understand the frame right there, that what you're looking for is looking for you. And that's, that was where it all started. I came across Neville. Okay. And, and right there, that was the switch. Because I heard it immediately. I didn't understand it. I, I didn't understand it, but I knew I heard, heard something that was worthy of my attention. And so actually, I did pay attention. It, a little bit anyway. <laughs> I mean, you know, just, just being patient enough with yourself to sit still and contemplate and meditate j- just for moments at a time at first. But once you feel that connection, you'll move on quickly and much longer and longer and longer and the longer the better. But if you fall asleep at night would contemplating what we're talking about, you can carry it right on into the dream world with you. If you really, really focus on it, because that's the whole thing. It takes your attention. You see your attention to turn it on. Be attentive. Wouldn't you say? I would say, and you know, you gave a lot in, you know, that brief, um, synopsis of what transpired you know you said that at first you heard something that you found agreement with when you heard Neville and I absolutely agree with you when I first heard Neville like I tell many it scared me because it wasn't what I was accustomed to hearing (laughs) you know about change so I absolutely agree with you and I'm sure that you can attest to what I mean by that well you know uh even though I heard it it changed things for me I totally forgot what was said, but I remembered the feeling. And that's all you have to do is go back to the feeling and then it'll all open up again. But it takes your patience to sit there and actually focus your attention because that's all it takes. What has your attention has your life. Isn't that true? It's true. It's Mm -hmm. true. And we said... We say that week after week, but right now your phone has your life. And so it's so true. You know, and right now for me, I hear the dog outside the my office and she's making noise because she wants to come in. So whatever we're giving our attention to at the moment has our life. Even if it's for a brief moment, it has our attention and it has our life. So I agree with you. But what, 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 how long does it take you to get back to the sanity you were in before you got distracted? Yeah. See, that, that's, that's the problem, is getting back. Yeah, we can all get in it, but when you get distracted, you got to get back. And that's where I always missed it. I'd get distracted and then forget it. And if you put it off till later, you'll forget it. Yeah. And so and later comes, are you ready now? Don't put it off again. <laughs> and you're, you're right you know and the funny thing is with that pretty soon we look back and we're looking back on our lives and we're saying 
Where did the time go? Yeah, where does it go? I mean, it goes by so, so fast, so yeah. fast. But you can slow down anything if you want to. You can do what you want to do because you were given choose this day. And whatsoever is the potential you're given to choose from. So it's it's wide open. It tells you, do a thing. A thing. I mean, come on. It, doesn't that leave it wide open? It does. It does. You know, and that's amazing that you say that, you know, you said, listen, you can change if you put your mind to it. And many of us really don't believe that change is that simple but change doesn't happen any other way. Yeah, but th that's the whole problem. That is the problem. It is so simple, nobody believes it. Yeah. Because, I mean, look, God left his children a message. Wouldn't it be simple? I mean, you have to get at it at a young age. Yeah. So it has to be pretty simple because you haven't had time actually to experience all that much. So it takes you focusing on where you want to go. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Don't, don't worry about what anybody else is doing. First of all, get it straight what you want to do and where you want to go. And then you monitor your own inner conversations to see that that's where you're leading you. Because if you're not, you're not. You know, and I like that you stated that don't worry about anybody else. And this is actually the, the plight of most people they're worried about, you know, their husband, their wife, their children, you know, their friends, and they want to change those people. But you say, listen, get your thoughts together first. It's almost like, the, you know, when I flew down to see you, you know, the flight attendant said, if you have children with you, put on your own oxygen mask first. Many people are trying to put on other people's oxygen masks, and they're not putting on their own oxygen mask so they're not taking care of themselves that's it that's it how can you help somebody else you can't even help yourself yeah no i mean i mean it's 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 really common logic but like the woman said common sense isn't all that common anymore yeah. absolutely <laughs> but it's still there with you all of it all you have to do is recognize it Everything you want to know, everything you want to do is right with you, but you have to recognize it. And the way you recognize it is to view it on the screen, in your mind, the mind of imagination. That's God. And he's telling you, ask. You receive not because you ask not, or you're asking amiss. Now, it's that asking amiss is something you should check on because <laughs> You're talking to yourself all the time, but where is what you're saying leading you? If it's leading you where you want to go, expand on it. But if it's not, stop it. That's powerful. And I hope that the listener will listen to that again. You ask the question, where do you want to go? And is your thinking taking you there? If it's not, stop thinking that. And somebody says, well, I can't change my thinking. But as you often say, we do it all the time. Yes. Yes. Every day. Every day. And there's not one day goes by you haven't changed your mind on doing something rather than something else. I mean, it's always up to you. Since you were given choose this day, and, and it is always this day, right now. In fact, it does. It measures it down to right now is the appointed hour of desired change. If that's what you're looking for, is desired change, be it. That's what scripture tells you. It just read it over and over. It tells you, be it, be a thing, do a thing, a thing. In other words, it's left to you 100% up to you. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It goes back to, we talk about it often, you know, and that thing is often called whatsoever. Yeah, that's it. You're given free reign. I, I agree with what was said, give me liberty or give me death, because death is liberty again. Yeah. There's nothing transforming in death. So, like I said, if you die a ding-dong, you get to play ding-dong again. 
<laughs> and I probably played a lot of big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that we both have. I know that I have. And, you know, um, and still continue to if I'm not mindful of what it is that I'm giving my attention to. So, yeah. Well, th- that's it. What are you giving your attention to? Because what has your attention has your life. And if you're liking what you're doing, fine, expand on it. But if you're not, check it out. Well, what are you actually thinking about morning, noon, and night? All you have to do is just remind yourself. You see, we forget. Uh, uh, Neville would say it often that, that man just is, has a poor memory. Yeah. In other words, you agreed with it when you heard it. But then when situations come up, they call on that. You're not there. Yeah. Why? Because you forgot it. And that's what you do. You forget. You forget who you are. You forget what you're doing. But it says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now, that was God telling you that. Why, why wouldn't you consider what he said? He also said, there is, you can, whatsoever. What, whatsoever. What, what are you looking for? Do you even know? what you're looking for. Are you passionate about it? Because if you're not, it won't go anywhere, will it? No, it won't. You know, and I like that you said, listen, whether you recognize it or not, you agreed with it when you heard it. And the hearing of the ear may be that you were watching something or something that got your attention and it moved you in a certain kind of way. Now, you didn't think about that movement of spirit at that time, but that movement of spirit became a attractor or a magnet to that thing that you're now experiencing in your life. Yes, I understand. Very clearly, we're told all things produce after their own kind. And when you're thinking feelingly about something, you're setting a kind, a mindset, and it operates automatic. In other words, you don't even get a say in it. It's automatic. If you make a mindset, that's automatic. And your mindsets are what guides you. So choose them wisely, wouldn't you say? I would say, and I like that you brought back to our attention, you're an automatic. You know, as you and I both know, we think anywhere from 60 to 70, 80,000 thoughts a day. So whatever we're bombarding our mind with, that's automatically being attractors into our world of experience. Yeah, actually, you're either setting yourself up or setting yourself free. Every thought is either leading you where you want to go or it's not. And if it's not, well, then, see, you're just not paying attention. And you know what happens when you don't pay attention? (laughs) Stumble over everything. And I've done a lot of stumbling. And so it, 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 it isn't helpful to have negative thinking. And yet, like when you're watching TV, every, everything, everything on there that's advertised is, is tending toward saving you from the negativeness. Yeah. But you have to feel the negativeness before you get the relief. So, in other words, they're talking you in too. Yeah. yeah. Nobody believes it. Yeah. Well, not many, but yeah. there are a few. You know, and it's true, you know, there's things that I wouldn't even consider buying if it wasn't for the commercial that I saw flash across my screen and all of a sudden enticed me on this thing that a moment prior to that, I wasn't even interested in. But now that I've seen the commercial, all of a sudden I'm like, hmm, that may be good. Yeah. And and the thing of it is, it's just like, you know, I've been working a computer here now, going through the Internet and that. And they have they they really get those little sayings really just right on because it, it, it attracts your attention. Whoa, what do you say? Where, where do we go? And the next thing you want, sign in. <laughs> they got you. They, you know, yeah. and that's great marketing. I mean, that's oh, what man. it is. So the world understands whether you're on the internet or whether you're watching TV. I'll say it this way: marketers whether you understand it or not, really rule the world. Whether you're talking about a political campaign, whatever it is that you're talking about, somebody's writing that script. So 
How powerful would it be if we start writing our own script? That's the whole point. They said, they're, it's their opinions. Yeah. See, what we're telling you, this is not an opinion. We didn't figure anything out. We didn't, I, can, I can assure you, I didn't figure anything <laughs> out. But, but the point is, is that it's with you already. I am with you always. I will never leave you. Never leave you. Never. Yeah. Th- doesn't that sound like immortality? It is. And it does. There's nothing transforming in death. So what you, I, I clap my hands to these people that they go to college when they're 80, 90 years old. Yeah. Because they understand that there's nothing transforming in death. You take with you your personality, your ideas, attitudes, assumptions, and moods. All of that goes right with you. So you start off with that. And if you didn't, don't want to start off with that, then you add to your portfolio. Yeah. But you got to do it. Somebody, well, you'll do it sooner or later. Sometime slot, you'll do it. But how long do you want to suffer before you find the relief that's right there with you, offered to you morning, noon, and night? God's not denying you anything. All denial, we're told, is self denial. That's it, it's that simple. All of it. Yeah. You know, as you state about the all denial, likewise, with all acceptance, whatever it is that we decide that we're going to accept is also self-acceptance. And that's hard for a lot of people. I mean, just that word self-acceptance, because we've been so indoctrinated by the church that, you know, to say to love oneself, that was almost a curse. You know, you were supposed to love everybody else, but that's not biblical. You know, Bible says, Love God, love others as you love yourself. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, you say you got problems, but hey, you're bigger than your problems. Yeah. But you have to recognize that you're bigger than your problems. Because if you keep repeating in your mind what it is you want to go away, all you're doing is just giving it life. Yeah. And it, it, you've given it life long, long, long down the way. Until you change your mind. But nothing changes until you change. That's it. If, if, if you, you're told to bring heaven on earth, well, <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> yeah. If you ask most of the world, I'll tell you, this is hell. Yeah. And, that, and, and actually, it is because we're plainly told by God, they themselves are makers of themselves. You made yourself. And I. I made myself and I shook my head. No, no, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this has got to change yeah. <laughs> in a big way. And it did. But it took me years to actually be patient enough with myself to actually get ahead of what I was thinking about. Because that's your, that, that is your experiences of life. What you're thinking feelingly about in your, not, not what you say out loud, outward. That counts too. But it's the inward talking that you're doing to yourself that you're saying, well, who knows what I'm thinking? Who needs to know? You need to know. That's the only one that needs to know because that's what you're going to experience, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you said, listen, it took me years. And you often say it took me years, but it's not necessary that it takes years. That's why we're here. Yeah. That's exactly what we're here. It took me years. And like you said, it took you years, but it needn't take that long because it's simple, but you have to keep it simple or you forget it. If you complicate it and start going down the line and all the historic things, it's too much for your mind. Yeah. You, you, need to fo- you need a single-mindedness, and that single-mindedness is very difficult in this world. Everything screaming at you, hollering at you, getting your attention, signs everywhere for everything under the sun. Yeah. But what are you looking for? That's, that's the question. What are you looking for? What are you feeling after? Because emotion is movement out from into your world of experiencing. And if you like what you're experiencing, fine, expand on it. Imagine, imagine, imagine. But it's you who has to do it. No one can do it for you. I, I mean, 
you can go to all the specialists in the world for whatever, but it's what you think that's what you're experiencing. When you say, I would say, you know, and that's a hard pill to swallow because, you know, with everybody bombarding us with information, as you stated earlier, to say that the choice is yours, that only you can change. We have a number of people that are getting it. I was uh, communicating with somebody in the YouTube form, and he said, you know, I was going to this person, this new thought person, this self-help person. He says, but it wasn't until I started listening to you guys and us making it simple, and then that person doing a thing and experiencing the power. But as you stated, the key is repetition, repetition, repetition. Absolutely. Reiteration, reiteration, reiteration. That's the reason why I recommend that you have the tapes, that you have the CDs or the DVDs, because you have to get yourself involved enough to form a vision of what you're doing. What are you doing? Is it what you want? Yeah. Fine. If it's not, sit down in the silence contemplate on what we're saying and then and we keep saying the same thing really all the time but it that's what it takes reiteration reiteration that it finally clicks on because i i know i know i heard the same thing the first time i heard it yeah but here here i am years later i'm finally getting a hold of it well that's what we're trying to to aid you in is taking charge right away right away because you are in charge you're the one steering. But if you're not careful, you wind up in a ditch, right? Absolutely. You know, you said something. You said, listen, I listened to these truths for years. You said, but eventually I got a hold of it. And you also said something. You said, listen, we're saying pretty much the same message. And if you listen to Neville's message, if you listen to any teacher, Joseph Murphy, it was pretty much the same message. It was said in a different format. It was changed around a little bit but it was really the same message. And what happens though, the message doesn't change, we do. That's right. And if you're faithful to reiteration, you'll see the change in a normal, natural yeah. change of events and situations. Yeah. But like I say, I, I'd love to just walk down the aisle and touch you on the shoulder and you got it. But it doesn't work that way. I can't give it to you. I can give you your message that you left for yourself. But then you have to believe it. And you believe a lot of things. And a lot of things you believe aren't even true. But that's okay, too. Yeah. Because that's life. You learn. But if you're not learning, but if you stop learning, well, that's it. That's where you're stuck. Yeah. That's what being stuck is when you figure you already know it all. It is. I sound like that sometimes, but it's not really so. I, I have to I have to review and review and review over and over because otherwise I forget. And, and you will forget. You, you can get caught up by, on something and you're over, way out over here somewhere. Attitude, attitude, attitude. That's what all, all these books here are telling you that it's man's attitude to himself and to his world in, in, in general. What are your attitudes about the world in general? Because that's what goes with you, right? Absolutely. You know, and I appreciate that a young man your age says that I'm still learning. And I think a lot of times people take that for granted. And it's true. We get out of university, we get out of high school, we get out of whatever our our doctorate program, our master's program. And we said, well, I'm done learning. But what I know is the moment you stop learning, you stop growing. And they have a name for that. We call it death. That's right. You know, That's as it. long as you're learning, you're growing, you're living. That's it. That's right. When you stop learning, you start dying. Yeah. I mean, it, it's that simple. I mean, Attitude, attitude, attitude. That's what it's about. all about. It's all about your attitudes. And you draw to you from a negative attitude, 
other negative situations and people and whatever. Give it up. Really. Give it up. Really. I mean, think about it. Attitude is what it is all about. Where you got them, how you came by them, doesn't matter. As you think you are, you do, you have, you be. Change it and you change your world. Simple as that, right? Absolutely. You know, and you said, listen, you know, as, as you monitor your attitude, you'll begin to experience the change. And you often, often say, um, that's what everybody wants, you know, desire change. Whatever that desire change is, this is what marketers are going after. This is what salespeople, uh, religious leaders, they go to find out what people want and simply they give it to them. But what we all want, whatever it looks like, is desire change. Yeah, so there's always going to be change. Yeah. I mean, this is a world of ideas, attitudes, and change. So there's always going to be change. But the idea is desired change. See, that, that's the difference to make. There's going to be change. Yeah. yeah believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just look at the world today. You, want to, you, don't, you don't have any question yeah. about change. So I don't know. It's something to think about, isn't it? But you have to go to the silence. Yeah. Right? You do. And I think that, you know, I, I think that we complicate even going into the silence. We make it this big old hoopla. But you said that when you initially started going into the silence, you would go into the bathroom and just plug toilet paper into your ears. <laughs> yeah. But and after that, I got these orange earplugs. <laughs> And everybody goes, oh, he's off in a, a something, brother. <laughs> so I took a lot of kidding about it, but that's okay. That's okay. It did its job. Yeah. And that's what I wanted. Yeah. I wanted to be able to shut out the world momentarily. Because I'll tell you something. That's what people really miss. They miss tending to self. It just goes by. The time goes by. And you're going to do, I know you said when you're listening to something like this, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. But you see, that's going to. That ain't doing. And you're told, do a thing and you shall have the power, not a power, the power. So in other words, God's telling you that if you do the thing, I'm right here with you. I, in fact, I suffer with you, but you behold me not. So I'm right here, right now. Omnipresence. Isn't that right here, right now? That's not, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think that we've made God still the God out there. You know, so even as we talk about God being present, many people haven't came to that place. And again, I know that it's not easy if we're trying to use mass mind reason. Matter of fact, you can't do it with mass mind reason. But you often say this, and I'm going to quote it. You either stroll in or you don't get in. That's it. That's it. See, it's not a fight. In fact, that's what they tell you all the time. We're fighting for you. We're fighting for you. Why, what are you doing for you? Why are they fighting for you? Why do they need to fight for you? Yeah. You have God on your side. Isn't that enough? Yeah. I mean, he told you, let go and let God. That's exactly what you do. But do you? See, it's one thing to know about it. In fact, I told people, hey, oh, yeah, well, I know about that. Oh, yeah. Well, well, where'd you hear that? Oh, I read the book. How many times? What do you mean, how many times? <laughs> what do you mean about you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I get some really strange stories. But the one that really stands out is the one I told you before about the guy. He's telling me about something that happened. And he was so, so, so into it. So, so, and I said, well, when does this happen? 35 years ago. 35 years ago. I said, well, how often do you think about it? Every day. Wow. Every, he runs that off in his mind every day. And he wonders why 
it's still with him because you keep bringing it back. Let it go. I, and someone says, well, that's easier said than done. And by God, I believe that. Yeah. It is easier said than done. And that's the reason why we were the ones given to say the our say. Yeah. So say it. <laughs> yeah. And you bring about a point as the play on words, but it truly is. When you begin saying a thing, when it becomes real to you, when you start there, because the truth of the matter is many of us never get to the place of making that our say, you know, the easier say it. So the second we start saying it, then we start believing it, then we start living it. That's right. You're given choose this day. Choose what? Yeah. Well, the only thing you can really choose is what you think about. Are you choosing what you think about? Or is your environment impressing you to choose? Because you're either choosing or you're being chosen for. It's as simple as that, isn't it? It is. It is. And as simple as that sounds, most of us in this environment are being chosen for. Matter of fact, many of us don't even believe that we have a choice. And that's the lie. Because we do have a choice, but we brought so into the lie that you have no control, that, you know, it's the government's fault, that it's your spouse's fault, that it's the children's fault, it's the employer's fault. And we've given our power away. What you just said, they're telling me what to say. Because they're saying it over and over and over and over. Isn't that how you all learned when you were in school? Yeah. Repetition, repetition. Well, you're learning it the same way, but you're not choosing it. If you're not happy, you're not choosing the right thoughts to think because thoughts are things, aren't they? They are. 